All right, let me try to explain a bit how invalidate works and where it's good, okay? So here we have a tween setup that's animating to an X of a relative 100 more than wherever you are, okay? So let me just run this. And I have a restart button that's going to play that tween again, and it restarts as one would expect. Now I also have an invalidate button that's going to invalidate the tween and then restart it. Now invalidate is going to sort of re-record the start and end values of that tween. So what's cool in this case is that if I invalidate the tween and kill the start and end values, it can say, hey, you know what, when I restart it, I'm going to get the start value of where I currently am and I'm going to go to this whatever plus equals 100 evaluates to. And so now every time I invalidate and restart, I'm moving 100 pixels more than where I currently am when I hit that button. I can restart that tween that I just created and invalidate it as many times as I like over here, or I can invalidate it and move another 100 to the right. So because the tween is invalidated, it means it can refigure out where it is to start and what plus equal 100 is going to evaluate to. Now, let's just show you another little doodad trick. I'm gonna paste in this code here and this is going to give us whatever that tween has recorded as the var, the, the x value inside of this vars object, okay? So that's sort of the recorded value that's set when the tween is created. So let's rerun this to clear everything out. And just as a proof of concept, when I play again, it's gonna tell me, hey, the uh, tween's end x value is plus equals 100, okay? It basically sees that as the actual string that we initially set when we passed it in. And then also, after I invalidate the tween, let's also get, hey, what's that value that we passed in? So let's go to run it, all right? And let's clear everything out, excuse me, clear the console. And when I invalidate, we get the same thing. The tween's x value is still that plus equals 100 string that we originally passed in. And, why, and when I invalidate and play again, um, you'll see, uh, let me just clear this out. Every time we invalidate, the, record, the uh, passed in x value is still this plus equals 100. I'll clear it, and again, it's always going to be that string that we initially passed in. So that brings me to this. Let's say that the We'll have an end variable and set it to 100. And instead of referencing the string of plus equals 100, let's just put in end, okay? And you know what, let's make it 300 so that it's interesting. So let's run this. And let me clear. And as one would expect, when I go to play that tween again, we get the exact same thing. And this time it's telling me that the tween's end x value is 300. Okay, because when this tween was created and first processed, that was the value of end, all right? It was 300. Let's clear all this nonsense out and let me invalidate and play again. Now remember, invalidate is going to clear out the starting values and the ending values and try to grab them again and create a new tween. Now, not really create a new tween, but create new values. So let's invalidate and play again and it says, hmm, the tween's end x value is 300. Let's clear that. You might notice that there's no motion going on here. Hmm, very different than what we had before. It's always giving me the same 300, and we're not moving. Well, that should make sense because our start value is going to be re-recorded as the current position, which is 300, right? and the value that we passed into the tween when it was first created was also 300. So there's nowhere for this thing to go. It's at 300 and the new value is 300. Well, let's do this. Let's say that after we invalidate the tween, we're also going to set the end value equal to 800, okay? So now maybe we'd expect some motion because we're invalidating the tween and we're changing the value of this variable up here called end. So let's run, let's clear the console out, and let's invalidate and play again, and we get the same sort of stuff, all right? We don't go anywhere because we're tweening to an end value of 300, okay? We're not seeing 800 here, all right? 
when we change the end value here, it's not as if this tween gets totally reprocessed and this variable gets re-evaluated, all right? Once this tween is first created and this variable is evaluated as 300, that's what the tween is always going to see as the value that you passed in as its end value, all right? It, the tween does not know enough that, hey, I'm gonna check to see if end actually got updated to something else. So again, once that variable is evaluated the first time, that 300 is sort of like hard-coded in there. However, I do believe if I do a function and I say uh, return end, then we may get something new. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually glad that worked. Uh, wasn't sure. So yeah, now we're going to the 800. So what's happening is we're passing in a function basically that gets stored and that function can be reprocessed uh, after an invalidate happens, okay? So hopefully that makes some sense. I'm gonna start stop talking before I confuse the issues and myself anymore. Alrighty, bud, later.